remember somebody talking about how Giannis was going to dunk his way through the playoffs and yada, yada, yada. Listen, this man is right now, he's the most overrated in basketball. Is he a good basketball player? Man, I love him. I love him. I like Whoa. him. I'm I sick. like what he. I'm sick. You are yeah, a hater. Yeah, you go from hating on Kawhi absolutely. to hating on Giannis. Giannis isn't overrated. He's absolutely Please overrated. Please proceed. Okay, Tell me okay, how he's okay. overrated. You guys put this man essentially in the NBA Finals this year. 60, whatever win season. He went season, to the conference finals. Balled out. Yeah. Balled out. You put no, two wins away from the finals. Hold it, chill. MVP of the you league, most likely. You put him in the NBA Finals. He did not make it there. Not just did he not make it, he grossly underachieved. Grossly. The man, oh as far as individual matchups, as we brought up, shot 29% when actually guarded by a formidable so uh, defender. You're, you're smarter than this. Hold you on, know that on. you know that it was not one-on-one. -on -one. Hold on. I'm not a basketball savant, but I can watch the games and see how they clog the lane. And it wasn't why people keep saying Kawhi is the primary defender. That's fair. But every time he tried to go around Kawhi, other people got in front of him and they clogged you, that you lane. Know the, you know the difference? So stop pretending you like he just got shut between, down one-on-one. -on -one. You know the difference between great players? When you do that to LeBron James, he sees that all the time. And he, he passes out of it to someone to hit hold the on. shot, which, which Giannis didn't have. He passes no, out no, of no, it no, to no, a chill, shooter to chill, hit the shot, chill. which Giannis when did he, not have. When he passes the ball out, he passes on time, and he's not turning the ball over, and he's getting downhill. So when he makes the correct basketball play, it opens up a shooter for a wide-open shot. There were not scenarios where Giannis was getting downhill, making the correct plays, and guys were just clanking shots. He was ineffective. His move right, right now. Look, he, oh, didn't watch, he didn't watch the any best of the basketball games, obviously, because I saw uh, I, the I, I saw plenty of open shots look, blown when Giannis was kicking out. Actually, I split the difference here. I kind of agree with you. I thought Giannis was going to be too much for Kawhi, even in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, because of the size and even the age. And Kawhi coming into the playoffs um, looked like maybe he still wasn't fully back from where he left off. And then Kawhi maybe was compromised physically. But that's why I'm so impressed with Kawhi. It's not that Giannis is no good. It's that, oh, my God, Kawhi did that against Giannis on the defensive end and still balled. As far as Giannis's stuff, I mistakenly thought he was already the best player in basketball. He is not. Oh, you Kawhi should Leonard too. Kawhi Leonard Why do you always want somebody to kiss your now, feet? Get out of here with your yeah, fetishes. You fetish We're talking fetish. about, I know, it's weird, <laughs> it's weird. man. Keep that but, to yourself. Aren't you married? But <laughs> Giannis, the issue is what you mentioned He's at his best when he's going downhill, kicking out to open teammates if they wall off the paint, right? He wasn't good enough at doing that. I agree with that. I think he's an underrated passer. I think he sees the floor well, and he has those lightning bullet passes that, like, LeBron can throw cross court and stuff. But he didn't have his be the best version of that in these playoffs. And part of that's because his handles are a little bit overrated. He's a little better going downhill than slipping in traffic and stuff, although he can do it for a seven-footer for sure. Impressive. But it's not like Ben Simmons yeah. or someone like that. Okay. And, and he shot the open three well enough. You can't just walk away from him. He's not scared of that. But what was said about him coming into these series, and the TNT guys are saying it after the series, and they're right, is Giannis, when it matters most, is a big. You know, you want Jason Kidd kind of turn him into a mm, point guard. Sounds sort like of. what I've been saying all right, year long. Right, right. No, no, I'm, I'm conceding that. Mm, when you need him you. most, he's a big. But let's not get it bent. That dude, like Shaquille O'Neal, the reason Shaq loves Giannis so much is he's like, damn, I could have done some of this stuff if I was allowed, right? You, Giannis can't do it by himself. No one can. Right. You need to put him with, a, with someone better than Bledsoe as his number two who can get his own shot and do all those things. And if you do, they can dominate the championships. and They can, they can be a dynasty, but he does need that. It, the idea that he's this hybrid big little guy who doesn't need that is, was, was proven incorrect. He's not there yet. He needs a crime partner because of the things you're bringing up. Shaq did too, and Shaq was the best player in basketball. Look, let's pump our brakes on comparing Giannis to Shaq. I, I like that he Shaq dominates. Shaq did it. Because Shaq, Shaq is just stern and throwing his name into the media. He's, he's trying to find a way to stay relevant. I like it. Cool. Shaq doesn't cool. need any more Humble. attention. Listen, so there's you, no so comparing let's get it Giannis clear. and Shaq. You, you, Shaq's you, just an honest dude. You, no, no, you, he's not being honest with you. You hating on Kawhi. You hating on Giannis. Now you're hating on Shaq. Proceed. Who you because I'm next? speaking my truth, that doesn't mean you're hating. Your truth? Because your truth I'm speaking my truth, doesn't that, mean you're that hating. That was when you put your feet up and ask people to kiss him. That was you, your truth. Now we're talking about basketball. As wild as you were talking, okay, let me listen. This man played up to eight seconds at a time in the NBA. <laughs> Just oh, come. my God. Oh, the, the, the guy you with two left feet go. talking. Okay, let you me give this so to you guys. Yes. The reality why I say he's overrated. You put this man in the LeBron James system. What I mean, as you brought out earlier and you brought out too, you put shooters around him. 
Now, the one thing LeBron James does when he has shooters and bigs around him, he gets guys open looks, and when you don't double team, he murders his one-on-one -on -one matchup to where you can't help. So that other guy that you say was clogging the lane, he could no longer be there because his shooters are knocking down open shots or at least getting good looks. And LeBron has enough to where he's going to get to a spot on the floor and kill you every single time. Giannis doesn't have that in, t in his game. Right yet. now, right yet. now, hold on. Yeah, he's 24. I hope he, I but hope he gets it. But he's pretty close. I hope he gets he's it. All, listen, he did that in the previous series. When they walled off, he was hitting open do you teammates. Know how, he did, didn't do, do it against the Raptors. Boston was? I was disgusted okay, okay. by Boston. You're, Ryan, I'm never not, I think you're right about that. Like, I concede when but, I thought something different going into the series. He was going up against a team led by Kawhi Leonard, the best in the game and the best defensively. Siakam is an excellent defender, particularly you, on you Giannis. Under, Ibaka, Gasol, they have long, great defenders on this team. I want you to understand why it's overrated. Right now, the counter to what Giannis does is play harder, push harder, right, right. push harder. That doesn't work in the playoffs. He's got to get a turnaway, a fadeaway jumper. He's got to get a hit, a well, step. It doesn't back. work in the playoffs to the tune of he went six games in the you conference think finals. Giannis can, Who are you wait, wait, wait. Let me two? ask you this, Ryan. Don't call him the best James player on Harden. the planet, then. James Harden. Oh. Where's James Harden been? Can't y'all see Molly's talking? Oh, yeah. I got a, que I got Sorry, a real Molly. question for you because I know Chris Middleton's got his contract situation. Do you think they can win the East with Chris Middleton as his second best guy on that Bucks team? If he improves, <laughs> if he learns, and I don't want to say even a three point shot. Yeah. They can do it. If he gets to the point where he can bump you off and give you that Paul Pierce move, step back from the elbow, and knock that down consistently, they advance. The difference with Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi added that to his game, yeah. as you talked about that, creating his own shot off the bounce. Right now, Giannis can't do that, and it's not always going to be at the rim. Why? Because I can help.